Hello and welcome back to another video here with me, Mioni. This time we're going to be taking a look at the glamour of the elemental armour. This is the Eureka specific armour set pieces, of which to actually unlock you will need to have first collected 50 unique logograms in total. You can check how many you've discovered so far by talking to the NPC Drake inside Pyros itself, nearby to the Logos Manipulator. Once you have learnt 50 logograms in total, you'll be able to talk to the artisan NPC and purchase a single armor piece for a set for 40 Pyros Crystals a pop. With 5 armor pieces per set, that means you need 200 Pyros Crystals for a full set of armor for one roll, and of course there are 7 sets of armor. The item level of the pieces is actually 380, and uh, is actually pretty good, and you can even improve both the item level and indeed the looks of the sets in High Dartos, but we'll leave that for a future video. This time let's preview the Pyro sets. Starting with the Elemental Fending set, this tank armor is absolutely incredible. You may have seen many people in cities just AFKing around in it, as it looks stunning. This is the first set that I actually saved crystals for, to be honest. It just immediately made me think of Livia Sasjunus's armor set. There's definitely a feel of that sort of Garlean hint of design in there, and I absolutely love it. It's probably my favorite design of these Eureka armor sets. It dies nicely, all of the choices give a nice metallic effect to the finish, making Dalamud Red look insanely good and pretty much everything stand out amongst the crowd. All in all, it's exactly what I wanted from the tanking set and much more. Second up is the maiming set. This is actually identical in nearly every way to the tanking set, although you will notice where there is usually a gold outline and gold details, it's now a dark black outline set of details instead. It's just a really good choice, the black itself brings colours out like red even better and looks pretty damn awesome. And some people will probably prefer this over the gold, it's a little less garish. It dies much like the tanking set, only the face mask in particular is undiable and actually remains black. The third elemental set is the striking set for both monks and samurai. This set has a feathered hat, some interesting boots and a large shoulder spike. It's immediately nowhere as extravagant looking as the tanking or maiming sets and seems to go in a completely different direction. By no means is this the worst looking set for monks and samurai that they've had, I just don't think it offers a similar feeling when you first see it. I like the boots, the hat could be useful in glamour for other sets, but I'm not a fan of the red sash, and generally it's a little bit disappointing. The dyes though offer plenty of good options, but this red sash is completely undiable, which is a shame. Next up, with the help of a friend inside here who collected a couple of sets I didn't have, this is the aiming set, a carbon copy near enough of the striking set itself. Nothing too different here, the obvious basic colour is different, with this washed out grey and black. The sash is still red, and very little else is actually different. The dye options, once again, are near enough the same. Fifth set along is the scouting set, again keeping much of the detail of both the aiming and striking sets in the same design, but this time ditching the hat in preference of a small circlet, and the sash is now a horrible yellow-brown colour. The dye options are generally the same here, I, I just don't know. I just feel that these three sets here are way too close together in style, and, and there's A, not enough that differentiates them in particular, and B, that the style is fairly unimaginative in comparison to the tanking and maiming sets. It's my opinion, and you'll probably love these sets yourself, but I just feel overall that less quality has been put into their design overall. Sixth up is the healer set. This is actually pretty decent. I had to get people to help me out again with the ones I haven't collected, because I'm a huge slacker, I know, but this set in particular is at least quite different. Yes, it's another long robe, and I know a lot of the people in the community hate long robes on healer sets, but the detail on it jumps out at you, its gold outlines and gold cuffs are very regal looking, making you clearly the king or queen of healing when you wear it. It comes with that circlet from the other sets, but thankfully the rest seems to be quite different. It looks really quite nice in rich colours, Dalamud Red again looking absolutely awesome, Awesome, almost sort of velvety. Short of a crown instead of this circlet, I'm fairly happy with this design. 
And lastly, gear set 7 is the casting set, modelled by this helpful cat boy here. Following the healing set, this is basically a direct recolour but has a decent array of base colours applied. I like the purple and black stripes, the healer one didn't have any stripes, so at least there's some actual visual changes. The gold jumps out of the black much more than the white, and generally, although it's the same as a healer set pretty much, it does look really good. The dye options are clearly the same as the healer set, but again this design looks good in those rich colours and I think I need to get over my Dalamud red addiction or pretty soon everything I dye will either be black or red. Either way this was the Pyros armour set and what it looks like. I plan to get footage of the upgraded sets from Hydatos where all of these evolve into their final forms so expect that as soon as I grind out enough crystals in there and fundamentally find enough people who have completed outfits to fill the gaps in what I haven't collected. Thank you all kindly for watching this gear preview video and I'll see you all next time.